In this issue of Real Magic, John Lubbock has an in-depth conversation with Derek Hughes about his performances on America's Got Talent. The format of that show is uh, you perform, if they like you, you do uh, a, another show, and if that goes well, you do another show, and if that goes well, you do another show, eventually to, uh, if you're lucky or if you're really great, or both, you make it to the finals. Uh, at every step of the way, you have to ask yourself, what material do I do? And you want to do well and you want to get to the next step. So I think part of the impulse is, I'm going to do the best thing I do. But if I do the best thing I do, on the next episode I'm going to do something that's not as good as what I just did. And so sure. it's constantly that decision process. How, how does that work? How was that for you? Well, there's a, there's a bunch of sort of uh, key factors that go into deciding what material to do on that particular show. They want you to do uh, every segment in 90 seconds. Wow. And what they saw was, uh, and what really caught their attention, was what is predominantly my closing piece uh, called Ace in the Hole. I grew up in Minnesota. And when you grow up in Minnesota, you move away. <laughs> First thing I did is I moved to LA. And then I started thinking, what makes people famous? And you guys, it hit me like an epiphany. Famous people, they're no different than you or me. They just got a hook, a gimmick. Howie. Remember when you broke out of the scene? A rubber glove blown up with your nose. Right. Boom, famous. Howard, oh, I'll wear a top hat and play guitar for Guns N' Roses. Boom, famous. <laughs> Simple. Mel B, oh, I'm spicy. Heidi, well, you're just hot, but famous. So I thought, tonight, I will show you something you have never seen before. I have a pack of playing cards. Howard, do you mind helping with this? Sure. You say stop anywhere you want, as the cards fall. Stop. Right there? Yes. Okay, this is Howard's card. You got it, Heidi? Two of spades. <laughs> Deck of cards, get ready. One, two. That's the disappearing card trick. We've seen that trick before. But look, watch, look, watch, look, watch. I'm gonna take this off so you don't get confused when I say watch. watch. Shirt, tuck me in. Zipper fly up, zipper fly down. Look, hands empty, sleeves rolled up. Look, look, Howard, look, Howard, look. <laughs> yeah! Oh. Come on! I pulled my deck out of my pants. That's not it. Look, no two of space. I said we make history. I said you will never forget. <laughs> Just do this for me. I don't do this for my boys. I do this for America. Yeah. Yes. 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 And that's what they wanted me to do for my very first audition. They wanted me to do my closer. The best thing, yeah. arguably, you know, the most memorable or the most, uh, you know, uh, spectacular uh, piece of material. And, you know, they were, they were really adamant. They're like, we think that is, that's the audition. Um, so I said, okay. And at that moment, uh, I had made a decision, which was, okay, well, if I'm starting with my closer, if I go any further, I'm going to work more or less backwards through my show. Also in issue 48, guest columnist David Penn shows you his favorite effects from the Magic Live dealer room. This is officially the best-selling trick at the convention. I have seen so many guys going by carrying this thing and there's no wonder they're so delighted. I've seen this before. We're going to demo it right now. Uh, we've got quite a crowd behind the cameras right now, actually. These are the real secrets. If, yeah. if you want to take magic seriously, if you want to become a professional, these are the real secrets, the real performance tips here. You're wired, aren't you? You're, I, I'm totally you're ready like, to go. <laughs> totally go ready. Sell, 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 I sell, had sell. Coffee. <laughs> I had my coffee, so I'm ready, man. The mind boggles at the, the possibilities with this. It's absolutely incredible. I'm going on record right now and saying 
This is the best thing I have seen at this Magic Live convention. Kainoa Harbottle talks strategy. David Regal throws a party. And Doc Eason shares some updates on his Mardi Gras bar bet routine. And here's where we move into the new area. Um, some of you may have, be, have, may have trouble following this olive. And if that's the case, maybe this will help. Ta-da! And then, boom! This is the one that I have trouble with here. I don't know exactly how this is going to happen. <laughs> right? Boom. As always, we've got three tricks to teach you. In this issue, they're from Magic Bailey, Bill Satino, and Patrick Redford. Have a look at that card, remember it? Got it. I'll let the camera see it as well. Got it? It's about as fair as I know how to be. Yeah. I'm going to attempt to memorize the order of these cards under lightning speed conditions. Okay. Here we go. I think I got it. Okay. What was the name of your card? The Eight of Diamonds. Eight of Diamonds. That is, oh, that's halfway down. It's 26 from the face. It's between the Ace of Hearts and the Four of Spades. Shall we check? That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. I remember this specifically because it went the Jack of Spades, Six of Spades, Five of Clubs, the Ace of Hearts, your card, the Eight of Diamonds, the Four of Spades right there. This is actually really easy to do because it went Two of Diamonds, Eight of Hearts, and there was a Red Nine, I believe, after that. It's about as far as I can go. I, you get the point. That's awesome. All this and much, much more. On DVD or on demand, it's the best deal in magic today. Real magic. Television for magicians.